what happens after someone is arrested, before they go for trial, innocent or guilty, the answer affects not only their freedom, but their health and well-being and that of their families and communities. Around the world, an estimated 3.3 million people are held in pretrial detention, one out of every three prisoners. In some countries, suspects can spend years awaiting trial, a life lost in limbo. In Central and South America, pre-trial detainees make up over 40% of the entire prison population. In Central and West Africa, over 50%. In South Asia, over 65%. In some countries, upwards of 70% of all prisoners are awaiting trial or the finalization of their trial. Most people in pre-trial detention are young men and poor. They cannot afford one of the three Bs that might get them out fast. Bail, a barrister, or a bribe. In detention, they can't work to support their family. They may have to pay money for bribes, for water, for food and shelter, to get a court hearing or a family visit. In detention, their health can suffer. Overcrowded cells breed infectious diseases such as TB and hepatitis. Diseases they may eventually bring back home with them. In detention, they are particularly vulnerable to torture and abuse, as police seek to obtain the confession they need for a conviction. States spend huge sums of money incarcerating pretrial detainees, money which could be better spent hiring more police officers and prosecutors and building schools and hospitals. But there is a way out. Not everyone who is arrested is a danger to society or going to run away. Making sure arrested suspects get early access to free legal advice from a lawyer or trained paralegal can ensure people aren't locked up by mistake or without good cause. Better laws, more alternatives to pretrial detention, and supervised pretrial release systems can keep pretrial detainees out of prison and keep the public safe too. Fewer people are waiting trial in prison means less crowded jails and less wasted resources a more efficient justice system that builds trust with the community, and ultimately, a more just system of criminal justice.